Good morning and happy Tuesday. We had to get up bright and early today because we are heading down to Carothersville, Missouri. I'm sure everybody knows where that is. I did not until yesterday. It is about three hours away from where I am based out of in St. Louis. So we left at around six. I'm gonna take you along for the ride today. Show you some of the rural, rural, rural. We'll go with that. Parts of Missouri. And without further ado, I guess this should more rightfully be considered a vlog now since I've done a couple of them as opposed to a day in the life. So here is my vlog for Tuesday, February 21st, 2023. City limit Carothersville, population 6,168. Tiny town. All right, we made it down here. Now we're gonna go inside and do this hearing real quick. It's 8.36. We're actually here pretty early. back I wanted to chat with you guys today about discovery discovery is anything that the state would seek to use against a person at an eventual trial so you're thinking medical records police reports evidence reports any statements that witnesses made any statements that the defendant made all of this is considered discovery the most important thing to remember about discovery is that it must be provided to the defendant prior to being admitted at any trial. So the initial discovery is sent out generally a couple weeks after the uh, attorney enters their appearance on a case. After that initial disclosure, any later disclosures are considered supplemental discovery. All of this discovery is what defense attorneys use to file motions to suppress evidence that was obtained as a result of uh, a, an improper search or invalid search warrants. This is also used to file motions to suppress any statements that were made by the defendants. So if you are in custody, you can request that you get your discovery from your defense attorney. If you're representing yourself, you can make a written uh, request to the court for all of your discovery, but it's very important that you review your own discovery. As defense attorneys, what we do is we review all the discovery talk to our clients about the propriety of filing any pretrial motions, and then we make our determination as to the strength of the state's case at trial based off the discovery. So I tell my client, these are what we think, based off all of our experience, are your chances of succeeding at any eventual trial, and all that relates to the strength of the state's discovery. Discovery is the most important thing in a criminal case because you're going to look at the initial recommendation made by the state. You're going to compare that to the strength of what you think the state's case is going to be at an eventual trial. And that's what you're going to talk to your client about to say, hey, is this a good wreck? Hey, is this a bad wreck? Should we accept it? Should we counter offer it? Or should we just set the case for trial? So that is kind of all the discovery. If you got any questions about that, again, reach out. 
Uh, we're gonna continue with this drive back to St. Louis. We just got back to St. Louis. I'm heading back home right now. It's about 12.40. I think I'm gonna wrap it up here. I wanna thank you all so much for tuning in. We're gonna be back soon with more videos.